Okay. Now, when you come to the, the eyes, the eyes are very critical on this T-shirt. Now, I don't know if you, you've ever really studied this image, but the left-hand eye, eye, where the eyelid meets the, the eye socket, there's kind of a, um, sort of a roller coaster kind of curve, where upon this side, it actually almost comes to a point there, like a peak. So I'll do the right-hand one first, and I'll show you what I mean. First of all, soften this edge there, like so, and put a shadow on there, and then we can kind of draw in that, that peak like so. I've kind of exaggerated it a bit to show you what I mean, but uh, it might be people slightly bigger. And draw the line underneath. And you start then to get a, sh a sense of that eye socket, and then um, fill this in like, like that. I mean, we'll fill it in in a moment, but I'll do the left eye now, and again, um, that shadow area kind of creeps in a bit that way. Join the makeup up, you can go over that section again, the pupil needs to be blacker. Okay, so this side, shadow there, then it's more of a sort of roller coaster kind of swoosh. When you look at the eyes, Peter's almost surprised, but he's not really, but he's got a kind of a touch of surprise in that face. And uh, if you get a little touch in, it adds to the lightness. And there's some shadow there on this side. And that's starting to come together there. More shadow here. Move it down a bit and then join this up. And you've kind of got, you know, uh, a feel for what we're doing there. Uh, there's a shadow here of, the, of this side of the nose. And then there's a, another shadow here, which is very important. And there's another shadow there, and that kind of links up then with the shadow we've already done at the bottom. And that starts to describe the form better. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the dots in the eyes, and you'll see the effect that that has. So we'll do that next. Okay, as before, break out the white acrylic and a paintbrush, and then drop the dot in at around 2 o'clock. Okay, which is there. Then the other eye, same again. Make sure you get it exactly the same or else you'll look cross-eyed, okay? The reason I do that is because it kind of brings it to life, but I also can drop in a few little key details, which are important. Like, there's a reflected shadow here, uh, highlight, I mean, in the shadow area, which is that shape. And once you start putting these key bits in, it, it comes together really quite quickly. And that crease there, add a bit of highlight there, like so. And then we can put a, a block, a square sort of block in the highlight on the end, the tip of the nose, to show the silver reflection. The light on the, I mean the reflection on the silver rather, not the other way around. And then there's little touches, like a little bit there, there. And then I, I do a kind of, drag the brush to do that, there. And then here there's a kind of reflection like that. And once you start putting these details in, it starts to bring it to life already before I put any colour on. So now we'll continue with a bit more black, and then we'll have Okay, now at the top of the brow, uh, Peter had a centre parting, so we'll put the hair sort of coming from that point, just to break up this the top edge, because it's too clean otherwise. It's, it's kind of like um, a gothic arch or something, so... Um, I kind of just, just kind of do this.
Okay, before we add the brown, I'm just going to um, freehand the uh, edge of the iris. Just to give it a nice hard edge. I guess this design, the makeup so overpowering, the eyes have to be quite strong to compete, if you know what I mean. Then change the red and we draw the lips in, um, it, it makes it easier for you to focus on that negative space in there, that sort of pyramidy shape. So I was just going to do that and then contour lines again as before. Now to add blue, uh, replace the stencil like we did previously and then these sections here we're going to add uh, a nice deep uh, ultramarine blue. And then we start to fill in uh, freehand. Okay, blue there. This is a cold shadow this side. Gently, a bit of blue on the, that side of the nose, left hand side of the nose. And then blue on the left hand side of the face. Under the lip. And uh, 